Welcome back to the Kentucky History Channel. In this video, we are going to talk about five historical facts about Harrodsburg, Kentucky, the first town of Kentucky. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe, like, and share this video. So let's get started. The first historical fact about Harrodsburg is the name. It was not always called Harrodsburg. It started out as Harrods Town, and over time, it changed to Harrodsburg. Historians are not sure exactly when it changed from Harrods Town to Harrodsburg, but in this map here, from 1800, it is still labeled Harrods Town. The next map we were able to find is from 1818, and the map identifies the town as Harrodsburg. It was also known as Old Town. Our next fact takes us back to when Harrodsburg was first settled. In 1774, James Harrod and a group of settlers came down the Kentucky River and picked their spot. After the town was established, more settlements followed, and with a push from frontiersmen and George Rogers Clark, Kentucky County, Virginia was formed in 1776. The newly made county needed a county seat, and Harrodsburg was chosen. The county lasted from 1776 to 1780, when it was broken up into three counties, Lincoln, Fayette, and Jefferson. Harrodsburg was also the county seat of Lincoln County until 1786, when the seat was moved to Stanford and Mercer County was formed. Harrodsburg remains the county seat of Mercer County to this day. Our third historical fact is about governors. Over many years, Harrodsburg has been home to many governors. We'll start with Beriah McGoffin. He was born and worked as a lawyer in Harrodsburg. He became the 21st governor of Kentucky and served from 1859 to 1862. Robert Letcher was born in Virginia, and when he was a child, his family moved to Kentucky around 1800, and they settled in Harrodsburg. He became the 15th governor of Kentucky and served from 1840 to 1844. John Adair was born in South Carolina in 1775. In 1786, he moved his family to Kentucky and settled in Harrodsburg. He was the 8th governor of Kentucky, serving from 1820 to 1824. The next governor with a connection to Harrodsburg was Gabriel Slaughter, who was also John Adair's neighbor. Slaughter moved to Kentucky and settled in Harrodsburg too. After George Madison died in office, Slaughter became the 7th governor of Kentucky and served from 1816 to 1820. So Harrodsburg has a connection to the 7th, 8th, 15th, and 21st governor of Kentucky. And there's a bonus with a current governor connection to Jacqueline Coleman, the current lieutenant governor of Kentucky. She was born in Harrodsburg. The next historical fact of Harrodsburg is the Dix Dam. Construction began in the fall of 1923 and was completed in 1927. It cost $7 million and was created to control flooding on the Kentucky River. When the dam was built, it was the largest earth-filled dam in the world. It created Harrington Lake, which is also the deepest lake in Kentucky. And our fifth and final historical fact for Harrodsburg is Morgan Row. It is the oldest row house in Kentucky. It is set on Child Street, facing the courthouse. Joseph Morgan bought the property in 1814 from James Slaughter for $1,000. The first house or unit was built in 1817. Each unit was built one at a time, with the final unit being completed in 1839 by John Childs. You can visit Morgan Row today. The units still have the original woodwork and floors. The total row consists of four units. So there you have it, five historical facts about Harrodsburg, Kentucky, Kentucky's oldest town. Now there is a lot of history in Harrodsburg, and we'll keep bringing you more. This may just be volume one. Here are a few topics you may want to look up for our next video. Graham Springs Resort and George Chin. One last thing to mention, Pioneer Days is an annual festival that takes place in Harrodsburg, which features live music, events, historical reenactments, and much more. It takes place in August and is worth the visit. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you again for watching, and we'll see you next time. If you'd like to support our channel, check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash kyhistorypod or become a member of our YouTube channel. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification button 
to get more Kentucky history content, find us on these social media platforms, and check out the Kentucky History Podcast on these podcast platforms for more in-depth history of Kentucky. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.